We are learning more details tonight about a planned terror attack somewhere in Canada. In fact, it turns out that when the RCMP issued that warning, that warning of imminent threat, uh, the credible threat rather, they didn't know much about it at all. All they knew was that it was going to happen in an urban area during rush hour within 72 hours. It was this chilling video captured online that led them to Strathroy. Oh Canada, you received many warnings. You were told many times what would become of those who fight against the Islamic State. Chilling words from a man who wanted to unleash terror on his own country. You still have much to pay for. You still have a heavy debt which has to be paid. The two-minute video played at an RCMP press conference in Ottawa. You will pay for everything you ever brought against us. Whether you drop a bomb or fire a single bullet, we will hold you accountable for this, inshallah. His name is Aaron Driver, just 24 years old, born in Canada, radicalized online. This is what the RCMP say he had planned. Based on the information, the attack was uh, supposed to be taking place uh, within the following 72 hours and was likely to uh, target an urban centre um, either during morning or afternoon rush hour. Police say they've been monitoring Aaron Driver for nearly two years after he popped up online spreading his support for ISIS. We know Aaron Driver was under a peace bond and had been given an electronic monitoring device. So what tipped the RCMP off that this man they'd been monitoring for so long was about to carry out his plot? Well, the FBI found that video online. The FBI uh, came into possession of a video that you just saw, which uh, showed a masked individual uh, preferring uh, threat towards uh, Canada and uh, clearly um, suggesting that uh, he was going to be taking action and that the threat was imminent. That call from the FBI came into the RCMP at 8.30 yesterday morning. By 11, they had identified the masked man as Aaron Driver, and by 4.30 yesterday afternoon, Driver was dead. The, the sure fact was if he had gotten out of that residence before we got there, uh, the scenario would have ended a lot differently. I'm, I'm, I'm positive of that. The tragedy was prevented.